Dr. Pisa, who are you? I'm Dr. Pedro Pisa. I'm currently a postdoctoral research scientist at the International Agency of Research on Cancer under the Marie Curie Fellowship Award. I'm from Zimbabwe, which is the Southern African Jew. In terms of public health, what would you say is the situation in Africa currently? I could say Africa is currently undergoing a major transition in terms of health and epidemiology. And this is mainly driven by rapid urbanization. This transition is characterized by a high prevalence of infectious diseases related to undernutrition and the emergence of non-communicable diseases such as diabetes and the HIV AIDS pandemic. This shift conventionally includes changes in dietary patterns from a prudent diet which is rich in unrefined foods and high in fiber to a more processed western diet which is high in sugars, fat and animal-based foods. And what are the trends with respect to cancer in Africa? Uh, to answer that question, I would say because of the improvements in the control of communicable diseases over the years, life expectancy has increased slightly in several African countries. And cancer is now one of the leading causes of death in these developing countries. Cancer is expected to account for more deaths globally each year than HIV AIDS, tuberculosis, and malaria combined. In Africa, cancer accounts for about 4% of all deaths, and the incidence and mortality rate for cancer are increasing rapidly. More than half of all new cancer cases occur in developing regions. It is estimated that by 2020, there will be 15 million new cases of cancer every year worldwide and 70% of these will be in developing countries. Over the next 20 years, it is anticipated that there will be significant increases in morbidity, mortality, and the economic costs due to cancer. What challenges do researchers face when studying cancer in Africa? The actual burden of cancer in Africa is severely underestimated. This could be due to the fact that the quality and availability of data coming from existing African cancer registries remain inadequate. Currently, out of the 54 countries, only five cancer registries are of sufficient quality to be included in the IAC series cancer incidents in five continents. This collection of data is published every five years by the Cancer Information Section at IAC and has become the reference source of data on the international incidences of cancer worldwide. Now, what can be done to decrease the incidence of cancer in Africa? It has been estimated that 30 to 40 percent of all cancers can be prevented by appropriate diets and physical activity which are both modifiable lifestyle factors for decreasing cancer risk. In Africa, research about nutrition and physical activity as determinants for cancer risk and other non-communicable diseases is lacking and has several challenges. The major challenge being a lack of research infrastructure, comparable dietary and physical activity methods across different African countries and regions. It is important to be able to assess diets and physical activity patterns in different cultures and populations across Africa. In addition, if valid and standardized methodologies are used across Africa, we can gain a better understanding of ethnic differences in incidences of diseases, including cancer, and this could ultimately lead to harmonized policies and health prevention programs or strategies. What's currently being done in Africa to address this problem? Our project, namely the Africa's Inventory Study on Physical Activity and Dietary Assessment Methods, acronymed ASPEDEM, is aimed at assessing the situation in Africa with respect to dietary and physical activity methods, as well as cancer registries. This project will carry out an inventory of existing dietary and physical activity methodologies as well as cancer registries across Africa. 
it will assess the availability and quality of these methods and identify challenges related to this research as well as cancer registry needs in Africa. This project is housed within the section of nutrition and metabolism at IAC. In line with IAC's mission and research objectives, to establish strong international collaborations with existing networks to support cancer research and prevention in Africa. This IAC led project will be implemented with support from three main networks, namely the African network, which consists of 22 countries, the international institutional network, which consists of several institutions across the globe, and finally, the African Association of Cancer Registries, which consists of 60 registries within 27 countries. This inventory will thus serve as a basis for broader discussions with existing networks and the stakeholders involved in strategic plans about how resources could best be invested to support infrastructure and cancer research in Africa. More pragmatically, we will then be able to identify and prioritize the methodologies and cancer registry needs to local settings to further support cancer research in Africa, drawing on the experience accumulated in Europe and elsewhere. Thank you, Dr. Pisa. It has been my uttermost pleasure.